What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Michigander man and today I am in Kentwood, Michigan and I am at the cemetery called Pine Hill Cemetery. I was actually here probably about a year ago and I did the story of the Grand Rapids Chicks but I never got to tell the full, the full story of Dolores Conwin Conwinski otherwise known as Dolly Nemec, guys. And today, I'm here to tell her story and show you guys her final resting place. So let's do this, guys. Let's go on an adventure and let's, let's have some fun. As you come in, this is the, one of the entrance ways to come into Pine Hill Cemetery, guys. You'll see the light there. That is uh, 52nd Street in Kentwood. I'm showing you how to find Dolly's final resting place, which is not very hard to find. You'll follow this all the way up the office is located right there Dolly's final resting place is not that far from the main office and like I said before I was here in the winter time about a year ago and I did the story of the Grand Rapids chicks but I was not able to ever do the full story of Dolly Nemec. So today we are going to tell her story. And she, her final resting place is right up here. Like I said, there's the main office you'll see that and she is uh, buried right over this way and here is the final resting place of Dolores Konwinski, otherwise known as Dolly. I played for, uh, let's see, the Chicks and the Colleens, and uh, we were on a barnstorming tour in 1949, and there were two teams in the All-Americans, the Springfield Sallies and Chicago Colleens, which uh, were dropped from the league and we were put on a uh, barnstorming tour. So I played for the Col for the Springfield Sallies. Uh, I think there were times that there were just the two teams and I think there were times that I was on both teams depending on what the managers wanted to show or, or how they wanted to put their lineups. But it wasn't uh, Competitive. Oh, I guess maybe it was competitive. I, I lied. <laughs> it was. We were all competitive. But uh, I played for the um, uh, Colleen's, and then in Chicago, I played for the uh, North Star All Stars, which uh, regularly had a couple of uh, minor league getting ready to go to the bigs. Well, that was just on the barnstorming tour. Uh, Mr. Wrigley wanted to introduce baseball uh, to the country, so he started us down in Oklahoma and went through the whole south and then up the east coast. Uh, we did play in, uh, in the Washington uh, ballpark and the Yankee Stadium uh, for a three-inning exhibition game, but it was uh, 
It was a wonderful time, and then we were all allocated to the teams in the All-American League. Uh, this is a funny story. I was allocated to the South Bend Blue Sox, but the Sox had a great third baseman and a great shortstop, which I played, and a great second. They had a great team all around. So I just uh, sat on the bench, and Dave Bancroft was the manager, and uh, Grand Rapids needed an infielder, and South Bend needed a pitcher, so I was traded. So I had some bench time in South Bend, but I still have a picture in the uniform. And I finished, uh, finished up with the Grand Rapids Chicks. You know, that, that's the hardest question I, we're, I all, we're all asked. And if, I think maybe one memory I have, I was good field, no hit. But we happened to be in Kalamazoo, Michigan, against the Lassies, and I hit a ball, and I was so in awe of that hit, I thought it was a home run for sure. So I just kind of stood there and watched it, and I was just gonna trot around. Well, it hit the top of the fence and bounced back into the infield. So all I got was a triple. If I could have ran faster, I probably could have made it home, but I was in awe of that hit. So I thought that was gonna be my first, and I wanted to remember it, but it wasn't. Plus the, uh, plus the everyday, uh, just putting on a uniform, playing the game that uh, I loved, and getting paid, you know, uh, getting paid, wow made $65 a week. <laughs> you know, back then, we were 15, 16, 17-year-old young ladies, and we had to be young ladies. Uh, the league rules said we were to play like, the league rules didn't say this, the, the coaches said this, the managers, play like men and look like ladies. And Mrs. Wrigley is the one who designed those uniforms. So, they wanted us to look like ladies. They had the charm school. Helena Rubenstein came in. Of course, that was a couple of years before I got into the league. But uh, yes, we had to look like ladies. Yes, <laughs> yes, and and uh, make that good impression to uh, the public that we were not only good ball players, but uh, we were good looking, good looking gals. We were just having fun, making a couple of dollars for our college education, and never in our life thought 50 or 60 years later, some lady in California named Penny Marshall is gonna do our, our life story. Had no idea, but we are so proud of the impact we have on young ladies today. And, uh, you know, they can realize their dreams like we realized ours. Right now, I'm 84. In a couple of months, I'll be a year older. I would tell them, do not sit down on your sofa and eat potato chips and watch the tube. Uh, no matter what you do, if you just get up and go to the kitchen and finish your, your dishes, finish your dishes or uh, get the vacuum out, uh, if that's your exercise, then I say do it. But if you can get outside, uh, I play golf, uh, which is, you know, I'm not, I'm a, I'm a couple of steps above a, a hacker. <laughs> no, I, I, I play fair golf, not so, good. So stay but active. I, active, 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 and my husband and I are always on the go. Uh, if it's to the grocery store just for a quart of milk or to the gas station and he gets out to pump the gas, at least he's doing some exercise and our life together has been, uh, and we have told our children to uh, go out and have fun, and they listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> but they haven't said, Mom, I need some more money. <laughs> yes. You're very welcome, my pleasure, and I'm here to have some fun. Dolly was a member of the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League, spending the majority of her career with the Grand Rapids Michigan Chicks. She was also a member of the Grand Rapids Sports Hall of Fame, the Grand Rapids Bowling Hall of Fame, and the National Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. 
Dolly consulted on and appeared in the movie A League of Their Own. In 1952, an auto accident resulted in Dolly's early retirement. Following that, she became a professional bowler, coaching her son's Little League teams, as well as being an umpire for high school baseball and softball games. Dolly died September 22, 2018 at the age of 87 in Caledonia, Michigan. I just want to say thank you, Dolly. You are not forgotten about. And I just want to say thank you for your contributions to the sport of baseball, to the sport of women's baseball. Thank you so much. If you guys enjoyed this video smash that like share me out and if you're not subscribed please subscribe so I can go on more adventures and find amazing stories like Dolly's here and I promise I will not let you be forgotten about Dolly That's what I love to do, guys. I love to tell the stories of, of the people behind the, the, you know, behind the graves, you know. The stories need to definitely be told, and I'm here, and I'm going to tell them. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and I will see you guys on my next adventure. I love each and every one of you. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.